particle theory is the incredible theory that all substances around us are made up of tiny particles too small to see. Take, for example, a solid nail or liquid water in a bowl. Or imagine the gas in a balloon. Each of these are made up of tiny, tiny particles much smaller than we can see. Let's talk about the properties of solids, liquids and gases. Shape is a physical shape that the object has, whereas volume is a 3D space it takes up. And we're going to have a look at the shape and volume of solids, liquids and gases. So starting with solids, like a nail, can it change its shape? Well, the answer is no. It has a fixed shape. It doesn't change its shape unless we apply a big force to it. How about the volume? It's also fixed. We can't change the volume of a solid. But the shape of a liquid can change. It fills its container, but the volume of a liquid stays the same. A gas can change its shape and can change its volume. And we can use particle theory to explain why this is the case. So let's have a look at the movement and arrangement of particles that make up each of these objects. The reason a solid can't change its shape or volume is because the particles are crammed together as closely packed as they can get, and we put them into a regular arrangement like this. And these particles, which are packed together, jiggle around or vibrate around a fixed position. Have a look at the particles in a liquid. Remember, a liquid can't be compressed, but it can change its shape. We can't change its volume, but we can change its shape. The reason it can change its shape is there's a bit more space between the particles now. So we draw them fairly close together, but just randomly arranged. In a gas, the particles are a long distance apart, and they rush around really quickly. So let's talk about that movement and arrangement. So in a solid, the particles are by regularly arranged and they vibrate around a fixed position which means they can't flow whereas in a liquid the particles are irregular or randomly arranged and they can move around each other in a gas they're irregularly arranged they move very fast they fly in all directions and as a result of this the gas particles collide with the inside surfaces of their container and that's where gas pressure comes from. You imagine those gas particles speeding around. Some of them are going to collide on the inside surface of the balloon. And when they do that, they push outwards, causing a force which we call gas pressure. Think about a liquid as well. Remember, the particles can move around each other, and that's why the liquid flows, because the particles have some mobility and they're free to move. So that's particle theory. It explains so much about solids, liquids, and gases.